All right, so this morning I'm putting together a couple of Rackham's Confrontation first edition brawn tops. And for my D&D thing, I'm doing these as pack animals. So I'm going to be removing the riders, which is really a shame because the riders are really cool. I'm basically destroying these classic figures. And um, yeah, so I've got all the legs here, two, four, six, eight legs, thank goodness. Hopefully they're the right kind. And these models are, guys, they are just, they're so good. I bought them off of eBay. So the owner wrapped them in this little bubble wrap things. You know, people are paranoid on eBay, man. They do not, they do not want that negative feedback. But, you know, it's, uh, it's inevitable as you get up to, you know, 10,000 people. Oh, the riders are separate. That's really good. I was... Uh, wondering if the legs would be intrinsic to the model, like crafted into the model, but they're not. So that'll make this easier, and I can actually use these for something else. That'll be, uh, that'll be really nice. So I'll have to be sure to store those neatly. In fact, let's get those in this, uh, this plastic sack. So Valhalla started as... Um, oh, here's the body. Right. There's that. These are smaller than I thought. I only brought 40 mils, so I'm hoping these guys are going to fit on these 40 mils, or, or I'm, I'm in trouble. I can always use cork to make them go out further. So, Valhalla, if I even remember the history right, started in February. The first one was February 2011, and we, we only had three people signed up. Well, yeah, three people, but we put on a whole party. I rounded up uh, a bunch of homeless people from the bus station and uh, taught them to play 40K. And, uh, you know, they, uh, they formed up the remaining guests. No, I'm kidding. I, I didn't do that. Oh, okay, and then here, this must be all the heads and horns and, and hands and stuff. Wow. Oh, look at that axe. Oh, confrontation. Why did you have to bone the operation? And, you know... There it go. Wow, that axe is really cool. I love it. I'm going to use that for something. So I've got a great little display set up. Oh, here's my orc heads. And then here's the other guy. Here's his sword. Does one of them have an intrinsic shield? They don't. So there should be another shield here. Oh, I, think, I think I might be missing a part. Hold on. I'm kind of excited to... Uh, to figure this out. Oh no, he does have an intrinsic arm. It's just hanging down. Fantastic. That's pretty. Uh, that's pretty cool. So let's get these brawn tops together. Got to clean the mold lines first. Mold lines are pretty good on these. It's not. Uh, they're not too bad. Might have to do some shaving. A big one on the saddle. So anyway, 2011, and I do believe this is the 16th Valhalla that's been done. And um, I, I don't think it's going to stop. I mean, right now they could probably put a Kickstarter up at the event itself and, you know, fill it by the time it's over, which would be, uh, which would be really cool. But, uh, of course, you know, there's other factors, so I doubt they're going to do that. Um, so, I'm pretty excited for it. I've got my own things cooking, but I'm not talking about it right now. Obviously, uh, Ultimate D&D is, is um, sort of my big thing that I'm, that I'm working on. But, Blue Table Painting is to a point now where I can... I, just before I came out here... I did a count of the projects, and it was, um, ah, geez, it was 42 projects, and I think eight of those 42 were not assigned, like we're waiting for miniatures or something like that. And out of those, a lot of that is just backlog at Games Workshop, you know. With the advent of 8th edition, they're kind of like, they're actually running out of stock on a lot of things which uh, is good for them. Wow, these are really clean. So anyway, blue table painting is at a point where, 
you know, I don't got to run rabbit run to make ends meet. And uh, it's, it's really nice. It's really nice. I'm coming up here. I don't have any worries. I don't got to worry about what's happening back down at the shop. And I got to tell you, that's really nice. And I don't think I would want to go. I would want to go back to that. So, um, yeah, you, you can see. It's great. Yeah, wow, these tusks are really cool. Oh, so well done. Yeah, I don't really see any mold lines. And these are very soft. Uh, these are soft pewter, so they, they bend real easy. Not too soft, though. Oh, wow. Didn't realize how loud that fan was. So, yeah, Valhalla can get noisy. All right, let's start putting these legs on. Now, my favorite, so this is the accelerator in a spray. Not my favorite, but it'll do. Um, I usually like the, uh, the bottles where you can screw off the top, you know, and then I make like a dipper out of that. But uh, it's not great to spray this directly on the model. I've never really liked that because you don't really get very much control. I get like a little container like this with a dippy stick. <laughs> I, think that's, I think that's the medical term for that. Hey, hold on, I gotta go get some water. So it's a, it's a good idea to rinse your hands off after you spray this stuff. There you go, that's plenty. It also, doing it this way, you, wait, you don't waste as much. And I gotta figure out which leg goes where. I think the big armored ones go in front. And the not, yeah, that's definitely the case. And the not armored ones go on back. Oh, wow, I gotta like figure this out. Okay. Yeah, one of them has like a bigger leg hole. These are made out of metal too. They are, they are pretty heavy. Nope, that is a right leg, Sean. Oh, I don't think it goes on that one. Does it go on this one? Do I have them upside down? Oh yeah, I have it upside down, that's the problem. Oh, that's a toughie. Yeah, that, that, that looks right. Yeah, I gotta. I really gotta test all of these. There we go. Oh, I see. They both have patterns of armor that are the same. Okay, so now I know which goes with which. That's nice. Yeah, I had some um, convergence of Cyrus models that I. I basically I put them together wrong. And because they were ball and socket, there was no way to go back and, and flip them out. So, all right, let's get my uh, let's get my glue on here. And some catalyst. Put that on various locations. All right, so back to Valhalla. You know, I've talked about this ad infinitum, but I think a lot of uh, ad nauseum, I think I mean to say. Oh! I put it on the wrong side. Why, Sean? Why do you do these things? You are the bad man, Sean. You are the bad man. Hey, there you go. That fits real nice. Okay, now let's get this other one on. Get some glue on that bad girl. Oh, I put on so much glue. So, my good friend Rich Kilton is here. And i got to tell you, it's good to see him. It's really good to see him. I haven't played a game of 40k in like a year. That's my confession. And I'm actually not even going to play a game while I'm up here. Not because I don't think it's great. I love 8th edition. Everything's fantastic. But I'm just doing my own other thing. And that's okay. Because, you know, this marks 20 years that I've been playing miniatures battles. And, you know, you've got you got to have some, some breaks in there. But... I certainly do have the resources and connections to, 
you know, make an army list. And we're still taking 40k orders, that's for sure. We love those guys. We love them. That's good stuff. Oh, Sean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing well with this. It's all right. It'll, it'll come out in the wash. You know why? Because I know what I'm doing. Instructions are for amateurs, people who don't know what they're doing. What is that from? I think that's The Simpsons. All right. Oh, uh, yeah, there's no way these are going to fit on these 40s. Oh, uh, that makes Sean sad inside his dark little heart. Well, maybe I brought some ovals. Who knows? All right, now it's time to do the legs. Are these all exactly the same? I think they are. Let's see if they fit. Just like grab. Oh, yeah, that one definitely fits. And then I just got to put the horns on. I should really pin those. That would be good. But I don't know if I have wire for it. So I might just have to see. You like that? You like the hypocrisy? I'm telling you not to spray it, and I'm spraying it. Well, there's sometimes I think where you got it. And I'm telling you to rinse your hands off afterwards, and I'm not rinsing my hands off afterwards. Oh, Sean. Oh, Sean, the hypocrisy is getting pretty rank up here. There we go. You happy now? All right. Am I recording still? Yeah, I'm still recording. So anyway, yeah, then we, um, we've done, this will be the fourth one up here at Timber Moose. And uh, Timber Moose has been good to us. Uh, I wonder if they're booking out solid like they used to, you know. But let me tell you, competition is fierce in Utah for rental spaces, meaning if you own a rental, uh, you have a lot of people with the exact same idea. Hey, look at that. Nope, I missed a mold line. Better get that now. Ooh. The wonderful taste of metal scraping on metal. Oh, look at that guy. That's fantastic. There he is. There's my little brawn top. I'm going to have fun making noises for these guys. I think they're going to like talk, too. They'll talk in like brawn tops language, you know. Sort of like a, a very uh, a low Scooby-Doo. Well, do I hunt for ovals or do I cork them out? It's a tough call, guys. I think uh, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna cork them. I'm gonna cork them out. It's funny because they're gonna want to bring these guys on in dungeon adventures. Because if I know one thing, it's that uh, people get attached to their pets in the game. It's pretty funny. <laughs> That's great. In the D&D game I run for fun on uh, Fridays, my 12-year-old son rescued this, um, this owl bear cub from, the, uh, from like this uh, evil vivisectionist's lair. And um, he's, uh, he's really attached. So I actually found an owl bear cub and owlbear mother figurine set and had those painted up. Um, I actually went to my artist and I said, hey, would anybody want to just, you know, as a nicety, just paint up a figure or two for this thing I'm doing? And uh, I had a few of them actually say yes, which uh, was really nice. I will not, I will not forget the kindness. Uh, some of them, though, were in my D&D group, and that's definitely reasonable. You know, because if you're a DM and you're doing all miniatures, whew, that is that is a huge commitment to the game. Wow, these are going together really quick. I wonder if uh, wonder if I got these in less than 20 minutes. Well, certainly not. Certainly not the basing as well. Oh, I did that opposite this time. Wait, is that the right way? Yep, that's the right way. Let's see if I can get it on instantaneously before the catalyst fuses. Yep, got it. Ha-ha! Ah, oh, I'm so fantastic. Why are you going to be so good, Sean? So, 16 Valhalls, four of them have been here. Two of them were up in Thistle, which is... I don't even want to talk about that. So that leaves ten. We must have had ten of them up in, uh, up in Sundance. So, and that's, that's still a thing. 
And let me tell you guys, I got stuff cooking. I got stuff cooking. But uh, it's important, I think, to do things differently the second time around. You know, don't. Oh, do you hear people in the background? Uh, by the way, it's about 10 a.m. here now, and uh, so the cabin is definitely alive. Out of the 50 some odd people, I'd say probably 20 of them are still sleeping from last night. We we all just got out here last night, and it's uh, it's great because, well, you know, we we got a lot of veterans now where they've been up. Some of these guys, I wonder if anyone has been up here since Sundays. Has been to Sundays. I know many wargaming has been here since uh, since Sundays. When they were small, when they were small little potatoes, just barely getting by in their little office, they uh, they were coming up. Oh, this looks so great. Oh, Sean, why are you such a genius? He said, just as he realized that he put the wrong head on the wrong guy. Oh, no, this is right. Ha ha. <laughs> I maintain my genius status. Oh, the bodies are exactly the same. These are not two different bodies, are they? Yeah, they're the exact same body. Cool. Good for them. Is it the exact same head? It is not the exact same head. Two different heads. Good for them. So I'm going to be painting these up, too. Ugh. All right, guys. Well, I am going to... So this is the Braun Tops. Again, great figs. Picked them up off of eBay. Uh, they weren't cheap, but they weren't expensive either. They were maybe... Um, I, I think this was 30 bucks for the two of them. So 15 each. Not bad. Uh, certainly for out-of-print sculpts of, uh, of this quality. Like, these guys have really held... They have really held their own. And so this morning I'm going to be painting up these four cyborg dwarves. I don't know if you can see detail on that. They're very characterful. Uh, this drilling machine needs to get uh, like modified and then um, <coughs> and then rebased. And then there's this guy. I think this is a Dark Age figure. I'm using that as like a character. But this guy's really big. That's a 40 millimeter base on there. So he's he's a fun fig. I've inherited a lot of figures. I've kind of co-opted them in, into this, and um, but it's, it's very characterful. It's really it's quite a fun little ride to go through my bins of stuff. All right, guys. Well, that's all I got for you now, and uh, much more is coming. Thanks for tuning in.